This IRS notice, identified as CP-148A, informs you that your mailing address on record has been updated. This could be due to a discrepancy noted between the address provided on your most recent tax return and the one previously on file, or after processing a submitted Form 8822B. It's important to consistently use the correct mailing address on all tax returns to avoid any confusion. If the updated address shown is accurate, you don't need to take any action. However, if there's an error in the updated address, it's crucial to contact the IRS to correct it. You should also keep this notice for your records and ensure that any future tax returns reflect the correct address as shown. If you need to correct your address or have other questions, it's best to contact the IRS directly. While you could call the IRS, I highly recommend you watch to the end for the fastest method to reach a live person on the phone at the IRS, which can save you a lot of time and hassle. You have two methods to speak with a live person at IRS order forms and publications, a shortcut trick, and then the better method to get someone on the phone, so be sure to keep watching for the best method. Dial 1154. Now the next method is the better way to reach a live person at IRS order forms and publications. I built a calling tool. To use it, open up your browser, go to Claimer.com, and search for the IRS Order Forms and Publications option. Claimer can automatically call any phone line for you. It'll connect you directly to a human at IRS Order Forms and Publications. It dials the number and stays on hold for you while it waits for an agent to take the call. When it detects an agent, it'll send the call to your phone. And here is Claimer sending me a call back from IRS Order Forms and Publications with an actual agent on the line. It is a paid version, but it definitely works. You can see a lot of reviews of it with a quick Google search. Let me know in the comments how it worked for you.